Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the topic of desire, the topic of wanting things in your life, of feeling like you're guided towards something specific or, you know, wanting a specific person in your life, a particular job, um, a lifestyle, you want to live in a specific place and many times in our life we just come to accept the fact that um, we are never going to experience those things. We just accept that you know we need to get a practical job. We listen to outside influences. We listen to our parents, our siblings, our friends, um, what people tell us about ourselves and we kind of run with that information and let it control what we think is possible. And I've had a realization lately that I think is very important, at least for me. Uh, it's been a big revelation and it's made a big difference in how I look at things. And that is that if you have a desire for something, if you have something in you that you want, as small as it is or as big as it is, um, that desire was not meant to be unfulfilled or to torture you. That desire is there because you were meant to receive it. You were meant to experience it. If you have a desire for something, desires are like a little guiding light inside of you telling you what it is that you really want to go after or really want to follow in life and kind of what they are is like little stepping stones on your life path and when we're born here on this earth when we come to this planet <laughs> I strongly feel that our desires come with us like we are born with particular desires or goals, ambitions, everyone's got different ones, like we can clearly see it, we all have different things we want to do with our life, and some people, you know, theirs might be just like hanging around, like theirs might be going and sitting in nature every day, like everyone has a diff different desires and life paths, and it doesn't have to be something huge or something small, like it could be either one, it could be in between, it could be something so weird, um, it could be things other people have done, or it could be something that is totally new, that's never been done before, because there's always a first for everything, right? Like, there has to be a first for everything, so, um, in regards to that, um, I just, I'm always seeing, like, within myself, I'm always desiring things, always wanting to do specific things with my life, and... There's so many times that I've told myself, like, you know, you're never going to amount to that or like, it's never going to work out for you. It's not meant for you. Um, you can't achieve that. You know, I'm sure you've told yourself this too, or you have wanted something for so long and you've been trying to even manifest it into your life. You believe in manifestation. You've been trying to do everything to bring this into your life. And it's like, no matter how hard you try, you feel like you just can't get it. You just can't have it. And like, eventually you just decide to give up because you're like, okay, well, I guess if I've done all this work and it, it's not happening, then it's just not meant for me. And people do give up. That's how that happens. People are just like, well, I've waited this long or I've tried this long, so now I'm going to give up. And I just had a realization about that lately because, um, so this is kind of like a channel message download that I've had as well. And, um, I'm going to get into the topic too of, uh, consciousness here but um just know that also if you believe in a specific religion i feel like this couldn't be applied anywhere if you believe in god christianity like any other religion i feel like this applies no matter what because so the download i kind of got is that we are all from one source we are all from one thing one light one being whether you want to say that we are all you know from God, like God created everything, or, you know, the universe, the universe is everything, so we came from this <clears throat> massive source, like this light, um, I know there's a, a bunch of different, like, you know, ways you could look at it, or things you could call it, um, 
but whatever it is, like, we all can kind of agree that we came from some higher power, and we all came from one thing, and that one thing created everything. That one thing is everything. When you're one with this source, energy, whatever, you know everything, you are everything, you've experienced everything, every Thing that could ever happen is already created like as in you can look into this more but creation is finished like you you have all the knowledge you are all the love of the universe you are all the abundance of the universe you are all the success of the universe when you're one with this source you are everything you you're just you just exist because that that's just what it is the universe is just one thing and you are part of that and then when you come to this earth you are then seemingly separated from this one but the thing is even though you look like you're physically separated your physical body might seem separated you're still just as connected to the source it was never you were never disconnected it was never severed you were, you're still just as connected you just don't remember because the whole point of being on this earth is to experience yourself and to experience ourselves we can't have the knowledge of everything. We can't know everything, be everything, see everything, because then we couldn't have surprises, then we couldn't feel the emotion of, you know, viewing a sunset for the first time, or going to a new place for the first time, meeting someone for the first time, feeling, falling in love, like, none, none of this could really happen because we'd already experienced everything. So by coming here, we were able to experience ourselves, and we were able to expand our knowledge of what it's like to actually you know, feel the feelings of also sadness, anger, frustration, determination, trying to make something of ourselves, like all these different emotions that we couldn't experience if we were just everything, if everything was just given to us, kind of, right? So, um, also, when we come to this earth, we are, once again, as I said at the beginning, given specific desires, or we have specific desires within ourselves. And what I believe these desires to be are, like I said, the guiding sort of lights on our path telling us the direction we're meant to go as in what we are meant to experience on this earth. Because, like I said, we are not separated from source. We are still connected with source as in we are still everything. We are still part of this everything. But now we're looking at this everything with the lens of a human and... <laughs> In this lens, um, we can only view so much of this everything universe at one time. Like, you can't focus on everything at once. Because now, in this human body, we are limited by this concept of time and this linear way of thinking about things. So, we can no longer just, you know, think of something and all of a sudden we just, we already know it. Like, it just, it, it's just there because that's what it would be like to be one with, like, Source, God, the universe. And that's actually what imagination is. You can compare that to imagination. You can think of something in your imagination right now. You can picture it or talk about it and it's happening now. It seems like it's happening now in your mind, right? Um, <laughs> but then in your outer world, it's not there. Like, you don't see it. It's not instantly available. And that's because now, once again, we have this concept of time. Now, instead of just having something instantly, we have to wait for it to happen. We have to experience it. It has to unfold in front of us through a series of events. But going back to the beginning, like I talked about the fact that we are still one with Source, like we were never disconnected when we come to this earth, even though we think that we're separate. That's the part that's really, really important because you still have to realize that if you are not disconnected from Source, if you're still one with this being, this all, this everything, and it's now inside of you, like you're a little piece of that, then you also are this everything, this Source, this all. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you are still the thing that you think you're separated from. Maybe, yes, you now have this physical body, but what's inside is still that that life force, that consciousness, that source, that's that one thing. It's still inside of you. It's still within you, regardless if you see it or not. It's still in you. Um, because there's no way you could be here if you weren't part of this all, this everything, because nothing exists outside of it. You are part of it. And... And that's the thing that it's really hard to explain this topic, but that's the thing that's so important to realize because 
what this means, if you are still part of this everything, you are everything. That, that's the concept right there. You are everything. And this is not selfish to say. This is not saying, like, you know, in a way of, like, I have everything, I am everything. It's just the truth. It really is just the truth. It's that you are everything that you think is outside of yourself. You are one with it. It's not that you are just everything. It's that you are one with everything. As in, all this that you see outside of you, this entire world, this entire universe, everything, like this this can, this, these airpods, everything is you. Because this version of reality that you're experiencing, that you're living in, it would not exist if you were not here. Like, as in this lens that you're seeing through, this human lens, only exists because you're aware, because you're perceiving it. So, and this is the gift too, this is the gift. This is why life is gift because when you come here, you quite literally are given everything, as in everything that you need is already within you, including, so everything in this universe outside of you is you already, right? Like we've, we've established this, but at the same time, when you come here, there are specific things that you are meant to experience and to experience those things, the universe gives you desires. And to have a desire is to say that that thing that you desire is meant for you. You are meant to experience that thing. It was not meant to be something that you just pine for. It's meant to be the experience of you acquiring that thing. So <laughs> when you have a desire, you have to know that immediately it's already yours because if everything is yours, then this desire also must be yours because everything outside of you is you. And I know this is such a hard concept to grasp, but everything that exists outside of you is only here because of your perception. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It doesn't matter what anyone else's energy is doing. Like, it doesn't matter what someone else is thinking about you doing to you because it's only your perception that matters. It's only the way that you perceive things, as in, like, I like to think of the human as being like a spotlight. Like we can only shine on like certain things at one time. It's where our focus is. Like they say, where focus goes, energy flows. And that's like your spotlight. Where is your spotlight right now? Like in terms of your desire, the reason that we always feel like we don't have something is because we are putting our spotlight on <laughs> this not having this. So it's like, I don't know, I like to look at it like you were given this entire buffet table of anything you can choose from, but, again, you were basically programmed with these desires when you came here of specific things you like. Like, let's say you really like chocolate cake for some reason, like that's just something that you love. But then, you're going to this table and you're like, it's, it's got everything. It's got your favorite chocolate cake. It's got a million other things that you like. But then you go over to the other end of the table and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to eat these like really gross, I don't know, old stale pieces of bread. I don't know. It's like that. It's That's the concept. It's like we're, <laughs> we have all this stuff at our fingertips, but then we're just choosing the opposite. So instead of like saying, you know, I have my desire already. My desire is inherently mine. From the day I was born, this desire was put inside me because it was meant for me. I was meant to experience this desire in my lifetime. That's why I have it. And saying, all right, like, thank you universe for this desire. I'm excited to see how this unfolds in my life. Instead of doing that, we just go to this lack mentality of like, yeah, I guess I'm just going to desire this forever. Like, I'm never going to have it. It's not mine. Like, meanwhile, you are the universe. You are everything. You're just deciding to experience the lesser side of things. You're deciding to have the crumbly old bread rather than the chocolate cake. Like, do you see what I mean? It's where you're putting your spotlight on is, is what you're experiencing. Like, you're creating it. Um... So yeah, and the more that you go away from the thing you desire, the more that you are aware that you desire it too, but you keep going away from it, is the more frustration you're going to feel, the more anger, the more difficulty your life's going to have, like the, the harder your life's going to get, the more that you go away from it, but are aware that that's the thing that you want. Like when you really know you want something too, that's the, that it gets even worse. So it's, it's really about just rec recognizing that your desires are yours. And also recognizing that 
what is meant for you cannot be taken away from you because it is you. As in, your desires were meant specifically for you. There's nothing, nothing in this world that can take it away from you because you are the only creator of this world. You are the only perceiver of this world. As in, your perception of this world is what it will be. So, I don't care if there's someone that's got like negative energy that you say. So, no one has any power over you until you give them power over you because, again, it's just your perception. If you decide that, you know, someone is casting bad energy on you and they are, um, I don't know, doing this to you and they are causing you to feel this, then you're going to perceive that. That's what's going to happen in your reality because you are allowing it. It's only what you allow in is what you experience. If you were to just say that, like, they cannot affect me, that I am the only one who can, you know, change my reality, that can cause things to happen, then that will be true. Because it's what you say is what is true in your reality. It is only your perception, once again. It's where you're putting your focus. So if you don't like something in your reality, stop putting your focus on that thing. Start putting it on what you do like. And it's not saying, like, the universe doesn't understand opposite either. Like, if you go and say, like, um, I don't want to experience more of this, I don't want to experience more of this, you're just going to experience more of it because you're, you're still focusing on it. You're just saying, I don't want to experience it. The universe doesn't get that. You have to say the opposite thing. What do you want to experience? That is where you need to shift your focus to. Again, nothing outside of you can affect you unless you allow it. Nothing can take away what is meant for you unless you allow it. So if you say right now in this moment that my desire is mine, nobody can take it from me, I'm going to experience in this lifetime, or say quite literally I have experienced it in this lifetime because once again, we are everything. If you have a desire, it's because the universe has already experienced it. It already exists. It's just you now living this physical form where you get to actually experience it in this physical reality. Again, it's like a gift to be able to do this, but... Anyways, so also realize that when you say something or affirm for something like right now, um, it happens instantly because like I was saying, when you are one with the universe, everything happens now. Everything exists all at once. There's no time. Everything is just existing. But then when we come to this earth, we have this perception of time. It seems like time is real, right? But in reality, like when you imagine something in your imagination, it becomes real right in that moment. And so when people say like, I'm so off path or I fell so far off path, that's only because they're believing they're so far off path. If, if you believe right now in this second, in this moment, that you are on path, then you are on path. It's as simple as that. You can switch it in one second because the way reality works is that we are constantly flipping through like it's like a photo web and like we're constantly flipping through it instantly every time we say something every time we do something we don't feel it but we're constantly shifting through realities like there really is no time we're just constantly changing realities and as a good example of this um you can go back and watch a youtube video tarot reading or something from years and years ago and it will resonate today for you it will make sense today you'll be like wow why are there so many synchronicities in this or in this movie i just watched it's because everything happens in the now. You're, you're watching that version of it that you just shifted into, right? So there is nothing that happens in the past and in the future. So also, if there's something in your past that happened that you're like basing your whole life around, realize that you don't have to keep thinking of it that way and it doesn't have to affect your future because you can instantly shift into reality where it doesn't affect your future. Like, I don't know if this makes sense to anyone, but... Um, it's just really important to realize that everything you want is yours right now in this very moment. It is yours and it always has been. And for those that, again, don't believe in the universe, universe consciousness like they believe in, you know, God, God created everything. Well, also, you can think of it like God created you to have this specific path in life, to do these specific things in life. Like you're meant to do something, right? Like, usually we have some higher purpose why we're here, and, like, you're meant to serve somehow, and we all have different ways of serving. And so another thing, like, 
Um, I learned from, I can't remember his name right now, he's a really good teacher though, he talks about saying like how can I serve, that's like a really good thing to ask because it kind of gives you an idea of like what you're meant to do here on this earth, like, and again, serving doesn't have to be something so, I don't know, specific, it could be something as simple as just like making people happy or making people laugh or whatever, it's just there's always some way, there's something that you're here for and again, it is like, it's been in you since birth, as in, like, you've had it since birth. And also, when you experience things that don't go right in your life, that go wrong, um, <laughs> this is something I also had to learn, but everything happens exactly the way it's supposed to, to make you into the person that can be the highest version of yourself. They can have these future desires. So if you're wondering why one relationship didn't work out or why, you know, this one job failed or this business failed, it's because if you're going to be the person one day that, you know, teaches others or leads others in any way or inspires other people, you're going to have to have the negative experiences to talk about or else you can't relate to people, right? So it's kind of like you have to have those failures and also to learn things too. Like you can't have a really successful business if you've never had a failed business or learn from your mistakes in the first one or something. That's why many entrepreneurs and like very famous people often have like a lot a long story of failure before they became successful because they had to go through those failures to become the person that could be successful. There's no super successful inspiring person that never had any kind of failure or like down moment in their life because that's not inspiring. That's not um interesting, you know? Like, you have to have those parts of your life too, or else you can't become the person you want to become. So when you ask for things, like I recently, a while back, I realized I had asked for more wisdom from the universe. That was one of the things I requested, a desire that I had to learn more. And I was wondering why I was going through every day experiencing all these negative things happening to me. But then the next day I would always have some revelation about why this happened to me like I am right now. And I get it now. It's like, wow, I asked for this. It's just like in that movie. I think there's a movie, uh, Evan Almighty or something, where he's like, if God, if you got ask God for patience, do you think he gives you patience? Or do you think he gives you situations where you learn to be patient, right? So your desires come with these other experiences that you have to go through to become that person that has your desire. So just know that if you are going through something right now that feels like a failure or you feel like you're letting yourself down, it's to teach you something. And the only way you learn from it is recognizing and again, using your perception to look at it in a positive way, being like, wow, <laughs> what an awesome failure. That means that I must be learning something. That means that I must be progressing in some way towards my goal. You know, when you look at something in a positive way, it puts it in a whole new perspective. When you say that I am on path, like this is me being on path, I'm just learning something, then that's exactly where you are. That means that you're on path. It means that you're going towards your goal. Whereas if you say, I'm failing, everything's going wrong, um, that's where you're going to experience more of. It's just the way that you look at things. Um, and you're going to keep experiencing the same downfalls and bad things going on if you just, um, you know, if you don't learn the lesson from it, if you don't look at it in a positive way, right? So... I think that's really important to recognize. Another thing that I want to talk about is also um, experiencing frustration and anger um, or like resentment towards yourself or something because this is something that I have experienced and I think this is so important because really it's trying to tell you something. If you're feeling frustrated in your current life, you feel like you're trying so hard, you're not getting anywhere, you're putting all this effort in, you can't get past a certain point, it's probably because you're, you're being shown something about yourself. You're being shown that there's a disconnect between what you're doing right now and where you want to be. Um, you're frustrated because you're trying to be something maybe that you're not supposed to be, right? So sometimes it's just about allowing and just recognizing that, you know, if something isn't working out instead of trying to like force it, it's just be like, okay, maybe I'll take a break from this. Maybe why don't we try something different for a bit? Or you know, also it can be a way to tell you like you're in the wrong thing. Like sometimes you're in a job that you're hating, 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 and you just keep going there every day. And it's like the universe is telling you like 
you need to get out of this. This is not for you. Um, and, and that's what that frustration is, that anger is. And also the feeling of, well, if I quit this job that I'm never going to make money, like I'll just be poor then. Like how am I supposed to make money? That's also a lack mindset too because you're saying that you know, your focus is on if I don't do this one thing, then I'm going to experience this. And I was doing that too. I was saying if I don't work 24 hours a day, if I'm not constantly working, this was my biggest hurdle I had to get over. If I'm not constantly working, then I can't make money, then I can't be successful because that means I'm lazy. But I had to recognize that there's many people who are successful that only work a few hours a day. Like, you don't have to work like a crazy amount to make money you don't have it doesn't have to be hard and everything is really what you believe it to be so it's you have to look at your limits that you're putting on yourself because the only limits that are there in your life are the ones that you set for yourself the bar that you set for yourself so sometimes you got to shift that and you got to recognize that um you know you are deserving of nice things you are deserving of peace of rest like you don't have to have this focus of like life is hard, I have to work hard to get anywhere in life, that's just the way it is, like, that's just an old mindset of thinking, but that's something I really had to get out of, because both of my parents are that way, and both of them are extremely, like, gotta work, gotta work, gotta work, life is hard, life is hard, like, that's something so ingrained in me, and even making this video today, I had to try so many times to make this video and not get frustrated with myself, because every time I would say something, I'd be like, you know, my words don't matter, they're not that good, like, and again, this is just a belief I had ingrained in myself that I can't speak on certain topics, or I can't explain things in a way that's good enough, so I shouldn't share anything, and that's just stupid, and that's not true, it's not true, it's just something that I made myself believe because, you know, again, going back to the past, like, a lot of times we have all these limiting beliefs because of our past, because of our family and other people, and I, growing up, like, I would say certain things, or I'm trying to talk about how I feel, and I was always made to feel like, you know, like, my words didn't really matter, no one really listened, um, I spent a lot of time just, like, I would just go in my room whenever I was sad, like, I wouldn't say certain things, because I just learned that if I said certain things, I was, I would always get in trouble, or with friends, too, I would always feel like sometimes, you know, certain things I said were, I don't know, made fun of or laughed at, or sometimes I was, like, that, you know, dumb friend, that's how I felt, honestly, and I'm sorry if I, any of my friends are watching this, but, um, I don't feel that way anymore, like, I really, I really don't, but I went through a phase of that of just, like, I don't know, I was down on myself, though, I was, like, yeah, like, what I have to say is just silly, like, I don't really have a lot to add to this, um, or, like, I felt like things I said were just always annoying, like things I had to say would just annoy people, that I always talk too much, that's always something I've thought about too, um, but I just had to get over that and just be like, you know what, this is me and I am happy with myself enough, I'm always gonna just shut myself down every time I want to say something, like that's never gonna get me anywhere in life, so <clears throat> I don't know, just back to limitations like every limitation that you have you have to recognize what is a like what are these limitations are they real or did i just make them up or did someone else make them up for me and also like what you want in life is this based on other people is this based on what someone wants for you or are you really basing your life on what you want because also it's not selfish to go after what you want in life because when you help yourself, you're able to help others. Because when you're living your purpose, what you were put here to do, which is quite literally your desires, when you live that, then you are contributing to society in the best way possible because you're doing what you came here to do. Again, like as little or as big as that is, whatever it is, as much as it even seems silly, like you could, I don't know, think like you like playing video games or something and you think that's useless and how is that ever going to get me anywhere in life but maybe there's something about you're going to end up being a video game tester or something or you're able to I don't know become like a professional gamer record YouTube videos where you show your game I mean there's many people that become famous because of that so there's always a reason for everything, and I also believe that when you follow your desires, when you follow the thing that you're passionate about and excited about, that is when money and 
other things follow because you're living true to yourself and you're attracting in everything else that comes with it because you're allowing yourself to be authentic, to be who you were meant to be from the beginning. And um, I think it's also like when you get into this like flow state too of just being because you can tell when you're doing something that's meant for you versus doing something that is not because you can feel a difference. You can feel the energy. Do you feel like things are, you know, going easily, that things feel right, that you're enjoying things? Um, or do you feel like you're constantly forcing things, that things are just so difficult all the time and you can't get anything right and nothing's ever working out and it feels like this uphill battle because once again, there was, oh, I forget who it is, I need to remember more speakers' names, but there was this one guy who said something like, you know, if you have this dream of becoming like an astronaut or something, but then your parents tell you that's too outlandish and they tell you to go to school and you need to go to law school or something and you do that, then you're going to be the person in law school that finds it 10 times more difficult than the person that was actually dreaming of going to law school and wanting to be a lawyer or whatever. Like, you're going to have way more of a difficult time because that is not your path. That's not where you're going to serve the best in this lifetime. That's not what you're meant to experience in this lifetime. So, yeah, I really do feel like we have choice in our life. We have the ability to choose what we want to experience, once again, with our perception, where we put our focus. But at the same time, I think that we come here with a destined sort of path if you want to look at like look like it that look at it that way or if you want to you know think of it like we were given specific desires but um whatever it is like there there's a reason that we're here and we're meant to contribute something in terms of experiencing ourselves as the universe or as source as god um again i know i'm gonna get maybe some comments for this. I don't know. Again, it's my perception, right? Like if I, <laughs> whatever I decide. But anyways, um, in terms of people that also believe in, you know, God, Jesus, like I have also read the Bible, guys. Like I'm not just ignoring other <laughs> religions. Um, and there's so much in the Bible too, where he talks about like the, that one you know, the one and the two, and, like, the, we're one together, the Father and the Son, as in, like, you know, God and the human on earth, like, God and us. We are the, the Father and the Son, like, we are quite literally, I always like to think of it, like, he says, too, that the light is, like, inside of you. He says at one point in there something about that the light is inside of you. There's so many, so many lines in the Bible that are, that are so significant, and you give such good good pointers, advice, like, clearly is a very, um, advanced person, a very, uh, important person in our history, and, but I, I really feel like part of it was, is realizing that, like, belief was the biggest thing, like, no matter what religion or anything that you're involved in, it's faith and, and belief in something, and if you have faith in yourself, or in God, in source, whatever you want to call it, if you have full faith in that, then, you know, things will magical things can happen like that that is the key um and also everything that we're searching for like this kingdom of amazing things you know wealth success abundance that we're always searching for this whole time it's like it's right under your nose it's it's you it's you it's inside you like <laughs> everything you've ever desired ever wanted all the stuff that you see outside of you it's just you um you're connected with everything and really, like, the only thing you have to do is just decide. Decide, this is mine. I am this. And that is what you will experience. And you have to just have the faith that however way that it unfolds in your life is exactly how it's meant to unfold. Everything that happens up to its unfolding in your life is just, as they call it in the books by Neville Goddard, like, the, the bridge of incidents. Um, it's just all the little events that lead you to where you're meant to go because when you're on this earth, you don't have this higher knowing that you normally would have when you're one with source, which is like knowing how everything's going to play out. But once again, you still have the ability to choose what you want to experience by in your imagination, imagining the outcome that you want to experience, like imagining where you want to go. And it's like, 
it's kind of like a compass like you just or a gps you say where you want to go and the universe is like all right we'll take you there but just letting you know we're gonna go down like all these different valleys and roads <laughs> you're not gonna have the straight path but we'll get you there and that's kind of just the thing that we have to expect with being on this earth because once again you have to go through certain experiences to get to that destination but when you're not your higher self you won't your human mind will not comprehend certain things that have to happen for you to become that person or that thing that you want to become or to have that thing that you want to have it will not comprehend it so that's why we just have to accept the things that happen on the way to where we're going and we have to have faith that no matter what if we keep that idea in our mind if we hold in our mind that this is ours and that it cannot be taken away from us that we will have to experience in this lifetime it will happen in this lifetime so <laughs> long story short if you have something you desire a specific person even that you want to be with you have to realize that they are you they are part of you and that has never changed they've always been a part of you and there's not any separation between you and this person other than the as Neville Goddard says like the refusal to believe that it's they're already yours that it's already yours that is the only separation so when you accept the fact that this person the reason you desire them is because you were meant to be with them. If you just accept that and you just relentlessly believe in that, regardless of what you see happen around you, that is what you will experience. And the same thing goes for career, for money, wealth. And um, I'm at the point where um, instead of, you know, wanting things too, because again, wanting something means that it's outside of you. Instead of wanting things, I just say to myself, like, I am abundance. I am wealth, I am success, I am happiness, I am joy, because you are those things already. So there's no limit to the amount of money you should be able to receive, there's no limit to the amount of love you can receive because you are those things in its entirety, because you are one with the universe. It is within you. It's always been within you. So, um, and that has made a huge difference in my life, like, overnight i'm not kidding like in just the last few days um the things i've experienced have been crazy and it's just because i've accepted the fact that you know there's nothing for me to want because i already am everything that i have ever desired because it was inherently mine from the beginning it was never separate from me from the day that i came here so yeah Anyways, hopefully this video makes sense to someone. I feel like I just ranted for so long on this topic. So my cat is back here. Um, I, I took all day to try and make this video too because once again, I had my own limiting beliefs about sharing this video and what people would think of it. But, you know, I had the desire to share this video. It's felt like something I've needed to talk about for a long time and I will likely make more videos on this topic to explain certain areas more because I felt like this was just like a very long overview video and it might be confusing if you're not really into certain levels of spirituality at this point. Um, but hopefully for the people that need to hear this, this is important or helpful in some way. Um, I intend for it to be. I mean, there's a reason I'm sharing it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much once again for being on this spiritual journey with me of all this, um, yeah, discovering of ourselves, and I hope that, once again, this was helpful. So, thank you so much. Comment, like, and subscribe, as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye!